Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we have an interesting watch on the channel. This watch is actually live on Kickstarter right now. If you want to take a look, I will drop a link down in the description below. Now this is a newer brand from Korea. As you can see, the name of the brand is D Ward, and this is their Spino Diver. As you can see, it is obviously a dive watch. This dive watch is in the green variant. There are four different variants, a blue one, there is a black one, the green one, and I believe there's one other color variation. You'll see it all in their campaign. Anyway, um, the watch is about 300 and change on Kickstarter if you get one of their early birds. And uh, honestly, it's a pretty well-made watch. Uh, it's very cool looking. Obviously, it looks like another watch that might be quite familiar with you. Um, but, you know, looking over that, um, let's talk about the watch. So the watch is live on Kickstarter. This is their first Kickstarter release, I'd say, um, that I've seen so far from this brand, D. Ward. And it is dubbed the Spino Diver, related to the dinosaur. And we got a little more into that. You can see on the back uh, case back a nice uh, inscribed dinosaur. Anyway, it's a dive watch with a GMT bezel, which is kind of odd. Um, but you can obviously you can keep a second time zone on the rotating ceramic green bezel, which is very nice. You get a nice green sunburst dial as well. We get nice applied markers, as you can see there, filled with Swiss C3 Superluminova, which actually glows very nicely. Now the second hand is sweeping, but it's not actually a automatic movement. It's a VH31 Seiko movement. Most of you guys um, might not be familiar with this movement, but it beats at four ticks per second. And um, it's run on a battery. So you're getting that great quartz accuracy, as well as, uh, you know, uh, watch that's run on a battery, that's not gonna break. Um, so yeah, that's the VH31 by Seiko. It also has two jewels as well. Of course, it does have hacking. Um, it's a pretty simple movement. It's dateless. There's no ghost date or anything like that on this model. Um, but yeah, the watch itself is very well constructed. I did notice that, and it feels very nice in hand. Now, in terms of case dimensions, we are looking at, you know, only 38 millimeters from here to here. But, you know, of course, we have those large crown guards, as you can see, which completely cover like half of the crown. If you're talking about including the crown guards, it's 41.5 millimeters. So let's go with 41.5 millimeters. It's 12 millimeters in terms of thickness, so really not that bad for a 300 meter rating. So you get 300 meters of water resistance on this model, uh, which is pretty good. Screw down crown, screw down case back as well. Um, so yeah, I think that's not too bad there. And 12 millimeters thick is, uh, yeah, it's very wearable for every day. Obviously this watch can be used in many situations. You get 300 meters with the screw down crown. And the crown is covered by those nice crown guards and is signed with their logo with those two little screws on the side. Um, but yeah, other than that, the actual case itself is solid 316L stainless steel, the industry standard. Nice brushing over here. Everything is pretty nicely done, I must admit. Flip to the flank side of the case, you can see everything is finely brushed. Uh, no issues, no sharp edges, anything like that. You get these kind of turned over lugs here. Um, which are integrated with this bracelet. The bracelet's actually really nice, and there also is an option on the actual campaign to get a rubber band as well. Because as you can see, you can't just swap out anything. They're a quick release, the uh, straps. You can't just swap out a standard size, you know, 18, 20, 22, uh, 24 millimeter band, because they're custom fit to this case. So there is an option for a nice rubber band. Um, but anyway, it has a pretty decent clasp here, which I really do like, signed with D Ward. Comes with three micro adjustments and a dive extension. Very easy to function. The bracelet itself is actually really, really nice. Um, it's very articulating, as you can see. It doesn't pull hair or anything like that. It's very nicely made. And it has full screw lengths, uh, which is always a plus, right guys? Um, but yeah, um, if you don't know about the VH31, VH31 movement, go ahead and unscrew the crown here. Nice solid crown. One position, because we have no date on this watch. You can change the time just like that, screw it back down, and you're all good to go. No need to reset your watch, uh, wind it or anything like that. Um, so yeah, what I really thought was striking was the sunburst green dial. Um, it's kind of rare to find sunburst green dials. There are a lot of green dials out there, but not a lot of them are sunburst. And it really goes nicely with this 120 click GMT style bezel, which is made of polished ceramic. And the bezel action is really good. It's very good. So I was really surprised by that. The quality is definitely very good on this watch. Everything lines up on this model. It is a coin edge bezel, so you do get a nice grip on there as well. Um, so yeah, no issues with the bezel. Um, the bezel is not loomed, uh, but of course the dial is. And also we do get a nice sapphire crystal, as you can see, flat sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on the underside, which is clear. And it makes the watch you know, very, very legible to read. Um, the hands themselves, get a closer in at the hands here as you can see, 
pretty standard um, sword hands there with loom. You get a long pointed hand for the sweeping seconds, which is actually really nice and looks pretty classy. Must admit that. Everything looks pr pretty much in place. And yeah, I wanted to show you the case back here because there is the dinosaur on the case back. As you can see, they put that dinosaur for the Spino, which relates to one of the dinosaurs from hundreds of years ago. Ah, just a nice little touch. But anyway, all around, um, you know, it's a nice, well-made watch. Um, the finishing is good. The bracelet's good. It's a movement that's very reliable. And, you know, you have a ceramic, sapphire, um, decent bracelet, and you can get the rubber band option if you want. Um, one thing we didn't take a look at is the loom. So let's see if the loom is good or, you know, how is the loom? I must say the loom is actually really, really good. Quite surprising. A uh, very good loom here. As you can see, it glows very bright, nice and even, evenly applied. Just as bright on the hands as the marker as the sweeping seconds hand, as well as that 12 o'clock reference triangle. Obviously, guys, this is a GMT bezel, so you can keep a second time zone, but you can use it just as a dive bezel also. So a lot of functions on this watch. You can use this to obviously to time a dive, same exact thing, or you can use it to keep a second time zone. Now on my 6.75 inch wrist with these dimensions, 48 millimeters lug to lug, 12 millimeters thick, 41.5 across. It fits pretty nicely. It fits perfectly on my wrist. The bracelet is very comfortable. Um, I had to remove about two links and a micro adjustment, one up, and I was good to go. Um, definitely a very comfortable bracelet. It feels of good quality to me. Now the watch will come in a different box and packaging as you can see on their Kickstarter campaign. This is just what it, you know, was sent in, obviously. Um, it's a prototype, but pretty sure it's one-to-one -one of the actual watch. I'm not sure if there's going to be any changes. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure this is what the actual final model is going to look like. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's a very well-made watch. I think it's a nice watch, something good for everyday use, something good for the summer, the beach, the pool, and it's very well-made. You're getting a movement that's not going to fail on you. I believe these run at about plus 15 seconds per month at the max. So a very accurate movements run on a battery, replace the battery every two years. So can't really go wrong on that one. Obviously, if you don't like the design, maybe it's not for you. Um, but yeah, if you want something of this caliber, of this look, uh, maybe this could be something you're interested in. So check them out on Kickstarter. I'll drop a link down in the description below. Once again, this is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews coming at you with a new release from D. Ward, the Spino Diver. Definitely uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of interesting content coming up as always, guys. I will see you real soon. Bye.